Yo guys, so today is going to be about how to power slide into my DMs, or wait, no, just how to power slide and therefore how to play faster and therefore how to increase ground and ball control. This video is here because I've noticed a lot lately that lower ranked players may not be utilizing power slide enough. Actually, I've noticed that I wasn't using power slide enough either, or at least not as efficiently as I probably could have. So to work on this, I started to mess around with things and found a couple of drills that really helped me to get out of my current slump. If you don't know, I'm a grand champion and any small amount of speed you can gain over your competitors will ultimately allow you to win in a grand champion lobby. Even if you're below the rank of grand champion and haven't spent too much time on power sliding, this video and these drills will help you immensely. I was reminiscing a little and checking out some of my older videos and stumbled across my first video where I had this obnoxious claim. They're on this big race to a million subscribers and Who's that Pokemon? I'm adding myself in. So I need your guys' support. But due to the rate of subscribers lately, I think I actually have a chance now. So to help me be the biggest underdog in the history of literally everything, press that subscribe button. So you're telling me there's a chance. I'm gonna go over these drills in detail and at the end of this video, I'll have an example training regimen that I suggest you follow. If you wanna start controlling your car on the ground like a grand champion, listen to this. First off, I wanna quickly illustrate the differences between the ranks in regards to power sliding and prove to you why we need to start working on this. While looking at ballchasing.com, a phenomenal replay and stats website for Rocket League, I noticed something really interesting in the power sliding section. In our current season of season 14, we can see that there is an even curve up from the lower ranks when looking at time spent power sliding. Although the differences are small percentage wise, these are the things that differentiate one player from another rank. Now the next two stats are where we really get the proof and understanding of why we need to work on power sliding. If you're in the ranks of gold, platinum, or diamond, grand champions and pros are nearly doubling the amount of power slides they use per minute over you. But wait, the coolest part about the increase of power slides per minute is the time spent power sliding is actually shorter as the ranks go up. Okay, Seabell, sick numbers and everything, but what the hell does it all mean? Well, I'm glad you asked, man. Let me summarize all this in one sentence. We need to increase the amount of time we spend power sliding by power sliding more and power sliding less. Hope that settles that. No, so basically this looks like this. If we are moving towards one direction and need to cut back, we tap our power slide button as we make our cut. If we don't tap our power slide button during this cut, we will waste momentum, boost, and time. Therefore, we increase the amount of power slides while decreasing the amount of time power sliding. So one last time, better players will power slide more often and in shorter bursts. Again, the amount of power slides are higher in Grand Champ and Pro level, while the time spent holding down the power slide button is reduced. This means that pros are more confident and mechanically efficient with their power slides. I want to do a quick test to see how good you are before we get into the drills and how to get more proficient at power sliding. For this test, load up free play, get your car facing a wall, and prepare yourself. Okay. Now, slam on your boost button and get yourself to supersonic. Perfect. Now keep going like you aren't sure if you're going to stop. And then... So, to watch that again, we are supersonic driving towards the wall, and when we pass this line on the ground, I want to see if you can do a very fast power slide cut, and without using boost during the power slide, get your car to stop between the wall and this white line on the ground. If you can't do this, the next portion of this video is going to help you immensely. Even if you can do this, make sure to watch and see if you get anything from this video and potentially increase your efficiency and mechanics while power sliding. All right, drill number one. This one is kind of a speed drill, something you may see in actual sports where they condition your body to specific movements that you'll most likely make in game. So since we are talking about actual sports, this drill is called the ice rink drill. Objective here is to go from middle boost to middle boost. While doing this, you're going to flip twice when changing sides and use the power slide method we talked about just a little bit ago. Some things that this drill will help you with is A, using your power slide as you land after your flips. This is a trick that most high level players do subconsciously and it allows you to have more balance when you land. B, it'll teach you how to side or diagonal flip with precision, and C, it'll teach you how to curve and time your power slide cuts at the middle boost pads. Doing this drill before you play ranked is going to be really beneficial as a nice warm up. Oh, one more tip for this drill. Make sure to power slide in a more rounded out shape to maintain momentum better. Also, if you power slide onto the wall, your momentum and car are doomed. Okay, on to drill number two. I call this one Slippy 360s. This one isn't too difficult and it's something you can do in free play between games pretty easily. The objective is simple. You're going to hold power slide like your life depends on it, and then do these quick 360 spins. Make sure that you are also incorporating the reverse button for whenever you are spinning. Alternate between drive and reverse so that your car looks like this. Quick note on this one, make sure to turn on ball cam so you don't throw up. 
This one will teach you to get comfortable with using power slide while reversing, and you could actually use it in game like I did in the beginning of the video. For drill number three, we are doing a variation of a drill that you have probably tried before. This one is called underdog bounce dribbles. Besides the fun name, this drill will also help you refine your quick power slide cuts. So normally, the bounce dribble drill is where you'll drive alongside the ball and hit into it as it hits the ground so that it pops back up into the air gently. Gentle, good boy. But to get this drill working for you, first get the ball moving on the ground slowly towards one direction. Slowly drive your car into the ball to pop it up and then boost underneath it really fast and do your power slide cut and line up your next hit on the bounce and repeat. We are essentially playing volleyball with ourselves and it is actually a little more challenging than it may look. This drill will seriously improve your power sliding and will improve your mechanical skill at the same time. On top of that, it will increase your proficiency in getting nice bounce hits, which is a very easy way to get the ball into the air without much effort and is a staple for a lot of high level plays. This drill is the least drill type thing ever. Like, how can I even call this one a drill? What we are going to do is work on what I call drift dribbles. There really are no rules here other than to mess around with power sliding while the ball is on top of your head or to your side or really just anytime you can. This drill is aimed to help the muscle memory portion of power sliding and to instill confidence in your ability to execute it in game. If you end up losing control, you can even power slide into the ball to try to gather it back that way. Basically, just do anything you want but focus on using power slide for most of the dribbling. To make it a little more engaging, you can add some flicks into the equation or some jumps and wave dashes to test your mechanics and to add some more variety. This will be the most practical drill as these movements are things you might do in a game. Make sure to try new movements here and to have some fun with it. This type of practice is where people find new mechanics. Just make sure it actually is a new mechanic or flick or something before you blow it up on Reddit. All right, for our final drill, I did what I normally do in these types of videos and I created a custom training pack. I'm not sure if you guys appreciate that or need even more training packs because there are so many out there, but this one is kind of unique as it requires you to really dial in those power slides in order to hit these five shots correctly. Just as a warning, these shots are really tough and aimed for a champ to grand champ level, so give it a try and let me know how you did. Make sure to watch all the way through though so you can see how they are supposed to be done and I will give you a few tips on what works. All right, for shot number one, the car is pointing the wrong way, so we have to power slide to get to the ball and then power slide one more time as the ball gets close to the ground in order to line up our shot and ship it in. If you're having trouble with this, try to round out and get more space between you and the ball by driving out away from the ball first. All right, for shot number two, we have two variations that you can do. The first variation is to drive towards the wall, power slide and maintain as much momentum as you can, and then get a power shot into the net. If this is too difficult, try the easier variation by driving your car into position and then catching the ball as it nears the ground and set yourself up for a flick or some sort of shot into net. Shot number three is probably the hardest one in the pack in my opinion. Again, sorry for making things kind of difficult, but failing is the best way to get better. So variation one is to drive to the ball and to time your power slide so that you catch the ball. And because you were already power sliding before you got to the ball, your car's nose will be pointing to the goal already and you'll have an easy follow up hit. Note that the timing on this is super difficult. The easier variation then is to drive up and through the ball, clipping it on the side of your car, and then power sliding after that hit to get the ball into goal. Overall, you need to have pretty precise power sliding in order to get this ball in. Shot number four is also kind of difficult and tests your power slide cutting in midfield. The other thing that this shot will do is test your ability to get an accurate power shot. A combination of the two make this shot on this pack really good to do in repetition. Shot number five, this is the most annoying shot for me, but it requires a pretty quick power slide as you begin. Then you have to air roll your car a little as you jump up and use your second flip into the ball. This one is also a very repeatable shot and will refine your power slide control. Okay, perfect. So we have our five drills laid out, but as I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to put down a training regimen so you have some homework to do after you like and comment and subscribe. <laughs> No, but seriously, whenever I coach students, it's important that I leave them with some sort of regimen so they have something to practice and work on while we aren't doing sessions. So here's the time breakdown. Other than that, enjoy your day and we'll catch you in the next one. Later. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be so